Shelly Hartman coming to you live from the Blueberry Channel. As promised, we're here with our favorite chef, Patrice Hartman. We're going to be making those Greek blueberry sliders. Treat, why don't we get started? Okay, that sounds good to me, Shelly. I have the uh, blueberries right here. They're frozen from the blueberry store. I'm going to put them in a fruit food processor. Wow, those things look great. They are very good, and every time they're very consistent. You can always count on them. To be very, very good. Um, this is going to be a little loud because I, what I'm going to do is chop them, not really fine, but just kind of chunky. So it'll just take a couple seconds. Okay. Wow. You can do it with a knife, but they kind of roll all over. It's not really the <laughs> most pleasant thing to do. So um, I'm going to put these chopped up blueberries into my ground beef. Now, how many do we use, or how do we? quantities or how many cups or whatever? Well, we, I will feed, have that all on a recipe uh, on the um, website. Mm -hmm. Okay, that sounds good. So everybody can tune, tune into the website or, you know, we'll probably post something with these recipes as featured in uh, number one, the Greek blueberry slider. So hey, look for that on the website or probably in a newsletter too, we can do it. And these are very good. They have so many different um, herbs in them. Wow. And yes, what I is have on there, girl? Some fresh dill, some lemon, zest, and uh, green onion, flat leaf parsley, a little bit more green onion, and salt and pepper. Okay, I, I gotta go back a little bit. I, I have a confession to make. I did not know what lemon zest was. So could you explain maybe a little bit what a lemon zest is? Sure. I take a whole lemon and I have a zester, which is a little microplane that just takes the little the skin right off of the um, lemon and leaves the white pith onto the lemon. Oh. So you get the oils and the essential oils out of the lemon skin and it's really very flavorful and it doesn't make anything runny because it's not a juice. Oh, nice. I, I was yeah. glad to know that. So. Oh, it's very good. I use it in so many things. And I'm also going to put in a store-bought um, Greek seasoning spice. Mm. Just a little bit because that, that'll have the oregano and garlic. And I kind of like it. So then I'm going to just take my clean hands and get in there. This is if you're going to make a meatloaf. And I squish everything together till it's very well incorporated. That looks good. Could, oh, you, could you use it, uh, like a turkey burger or could you use like any other type of ground burger or uh, meat? Sure, chicken or turkey would be fine with this. I have made it before. Um, the, I would use the same exact things. Okay. It's very versatile. Wow. Now they're frozen blueberries, so this is very cold. And um, it, it's gonna, you're going to have to cook it a little bit longer than you would your normal burger. Also, oh, are you saying that we could use fresh blueberries too? Yes, oh, you can, okay. and I would chop them also. Oh, okay. Chop them up because the, the, there's these berries from True Blue uh, Blueberry Store are so big. You, that's right. And they, these are sliders and they're very small burgers, so you, it would be kind of um, too much blueberry maybe in the oh, burger. Okay. I gotcha. So what are you doing now? Okay, I'm making a patty. Okay. And it's a slider, so they're small buns, so I'm just making a small one, and I'm going to put my finger in the what? indentation. Why are you putting that in there? Well, that helps the burger stay flat. Oh, gotcha. If you didn't do that, then it would be, um, it'd be risen very high, and it yeah, would I've seen that before, the like bun. they're like that, and uh -huh. they're really awkward. That's right. Well, so then people deep. try to push it down with the spatula, and it probably takes a lot of That's exactly. The, the juice takes yeah. all the moisture right out of it. Oh, my gosh. And you can put as much as you want. One burger might have a lot in it. The next one won't. But it, it just, so I make, you know, three is usually a serving when you go to a restaurant. So that's what we'll have today. I'm going to rinse my hands. Well, actually, I'm going to wash them very well. And um, Shelly's going to put those in the pan. That I have preheated. She's going to put a little olive oil in first, just so they don't stick. That is lean meat that I have there. Treat, be treat lets me do little jobs like these. And it should be screaming hot. So you hear that sizzle? Here's That's what sizzle. you're looking for, to get a good crust on your burger. Woo! And those will cook about two minutes each on each side. Okay. And then they're done. Wow. Okay. And then we also have some condiments that we're going to uh, put on, and they're very, very tasty. 
And again, just like with the addition to the uh, raw meat, you can put anything you'd like on it. Look at that. Wow. Well, I'll need some buns to go with that. Yes, I do. All okay. right. So, just to prepare, you just put your burger on and put anything Now, what like. are these? They're they're really not buns, are they? Or what yeah, are they? These are potato rolls, actually. Okay, potato rolls. Perfect. You just slice them. Okay. Open. And then you put whatever you would like on the buns. And Shelly, I have some tzatziki sauce over there. These what, are what is this? Tzatziki sauce. And what is that? It's uh, yogurt, cucumbers, and mint, garlic, and lemon, and some flat leaf parsley. Is that like a Greek condiment or it something? It sure is. Okay. Yeah, you couldn't have Greek food without this. Okay. It's very good. It's like their ranch dressing. Oh, I gotcha. So you just put out however much you'd like. We'll put the, how about if we plate this? Just yeah, that this. looks great. And I have some uh, artichoke salad that I made also that has Greek olives and some feta cheese, and red onions. As we mentioned earlier, all of these recipes for this whole Oops. meal will be posted um, on the website or in, included in the, um, the email blast that uh, Charlie sent. Wow. And there you go. That looks good. <laughs> Cut. <laughs>